Fox tonight, a woman is cleaning up after two people broke into her South Portland business. Among the items taken was something that can't be replaced. Fox 12's Jeffrey Limblum joins us now live from South Portland with the story. Jeffrey. Pete, it was here video surveillance captured two people driving a white Kia Soul exiting their vehicle and breaking into this building. Inside, burglarizing a business called Ticket Tomato. The owner says that she learned of the break-in through a text from her landlord. As soon as he walked up the stairs with me on the phone, he said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. He says they crowbarred into your front door. Amy Maxwell has been running Ticket Tomato for going on 20 years. This, the first time she's experienced a break-in, sharing these photos with us of the vehicle and two suspects she believes are responsible, describing them as tall individuals wearing hoodies and masks. That kind of indicates to me that these people have done this before. And yeah, I it's it's violating. She says after breaking through the front door with a crowbar, those responsible rummaged through a filing cabinet and stole an iPhone and then broke through the back door, which she doesn't understand since they could have just as easily walked out the already broken door. Unless they wanted to do more damage, and which they did. It's going to cost to replace both the doors and to get things secured. So it's a bigger ordeal. She says when the culprits crowbarred their way inside, they had all kinds of things to choose from to steal. But instead, they took the one thing that means a great deal to her. So the guitar is um, an Ibanez uh, electric guitar that was uh, signed by Chris Isaac. Aside from being a personalized guitar, including Chris Isaac's signature, a caricature, and the written rules of rock, it also at one point belonged to her best friend Lisa who won it at an auction. There was a bidding war and she was so excited that she had won this guitar. She always showed people the guitar and talked about the story and everything. Her friend passed away in 2018. The guitar serving as a reminder of their friendship and a person she describes as full of love. She was a big lover of music. She'd be working and she'd be singing and dancing the whole time. She was a really, really special person. When the family asked me if there was anything that I wanted, that was the only thing I wanted because it was a piece of her that I could always have with me. She says as soon as she learned of the theft, she took to social media, garnering support from musicians and people all across the Pacific Northwest. The crazy thing is that it actually gave me hope that it may come back to me. She fears based on what she saw in that surveillance that these individuals might be targeting places known to have musical instruments inside and she'd like to warn others. She's also really urging people to be on the lookout for that guitar that she cares a great deal about. Reporting live from South Portland, I'm Jeffrey Lindblom for Fox 12 Oregon. Hopefully.